Jesus, I thought. The shit-eating leeches patrol the net like starved Komodo dragons stalking the high water mark. I decided it was a mistake making tea with the bong water. I couldn't fathom using the turbid sludge from the cabin's tap. And my nerves were frayed, like a co-ed's G. I wanted a copy, needed a copy, of Kafka's Metamorphosis. Not to read, Kafka's psychotic ramblings and disdain for punctuation left me feeling disoriented and uneasy, like a tethered goat. No, his bloated novella still measured a precise 8.5 millimeters thick and would counteract the uneven floor of the Aspen Hovel I currently shared with my ex-wife's Dobermans. I needed it in paperback. I needed it delivered. I couldn't bring myself to use the great river of mediocrity. It had more money than a Washington lobbyist, and none of the social conscience. One name leapt out from the pitiful collection of prose horrors. Good books. A bunch of rose-tinted, willfully delusional Pollyannas, giving away all the money they make. Every guilt-ridden cent. I had to admire them, the dumb schmucks. The thought of taking a machete to the mandarins of poverty. Spilling their pinstripe guts across the first-class cabin of Lickshit Airlines is one to give a good night's sleep to the blameless. If anyone was going to get their hands on my ill-earned cash, it was going to be a nameless village in Tanzania, washing their children's heads in raw sewage. Good books. The name rattled around in the hate-crazed ghetto of my head, looking for a place to set up and start recruiting. I leaned forward over the map and typed it into the menu bar. The desk moved 8.5 millimeters east, and my tea vomited itself over my fly with an eerie accuracy. Help me, Franz.